Hard Chat. Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by the host of Australian Ninja Warrior on Channel 9, Ben Fordham. Thanks for joining me. Tom, it's an honour to be here. Thank you so much. Let's chat hard. Let's do it. You host the massively popular Australian Ninja Warrior. Mm. Has it been your lifelong ambition to host an It's a Knockout reboot? <laughs> I went and saw It's a Knockout live when I was about 11 years old, hosted by Billy J. Smith. You almost sound proud of it. That's and weird. I suppose there was something in me then that thought, maybe one day this might be me. You should have looked at it and thought, I never want to do that ever again. I probably <laughs> should have, Tom, but I was 11 years old. I was young and I was naive. Sometimes you've got to have quality control. That's mm. the way I run my career. I do, sometimes. <laughs> Rarely. Mm. Occasionally. Do you have the whole show on Cockatoo Island so the audience can't escape? It's called Ninja Island. <laughs> Will you have it on an island so that the audience can't escape? They get free stuff along the way. Yeah. Red Bulls and... Are we allowed to mention products on the ABC? Yeah, why not? Starburst lollies. Meth. Family show. <laughs> Family's got to stay awake, though. <laughs> Could do a bit of gear. <laughs> you've been described as the new Carl Stefanovic. What? Who would you like to slag off in an Uber? Where would I start? Georgie Gardner. No. OK. Any other names? Your boss. Who's my boss? I can't remember. Have you done any research in this segment? <laughs> no, bare minimum. <laughs> you host a radio show on 2GB. I do. Do you ever think, even I can't believe I'm saying this shit? Sometimes I do say things that I later think, why did I say that? Hosting Australian Ninja Warrior must be a bit of a conflict, cos I'm just saying, you know, your listeners on 2GB, they're probably worried about ninjas taking over this bloody country. I don't think they're too concerned about ninjas taking over the country. They might be worried that Australia's going to be swamped by ninjas. You know They've I mean. never mentioned that on the open line. No one's ever rung up and said some ninja has taken my job. How do you think it's... You have a weekly segment where you talk to Tony Abbott. Yeah. Why? Why not? I don't know, do you have any other weekly segments with has-beens? He's a former Prime Minister, Tom. Yeah, former. Prime Minister. Fired Prime Minister. Prime Minister. For the shortest period of time in recent history. I also have the current Prime Minister, Mr Turnbull, as a regular guest on the show. Really? You should tune in. Well, I've tried to get him on this, and he, he hasn't said yes yet. What's his issue? I don't know. He always says, wherever a microphone's open, I'm happy to turn up. Malcolm, the microphone is wide open. I could get you Tony Abbott. Don't know if he's relevant anymore. I'm just off You've worked at 2GB, A yes. Current Affair and yes. Sky News. Yes. Is that like a trifecta of no standards? It's a trifecta of great opportunities, Tom, because Channel 9 is obviously one of the, the big networks in the country. 2GB is one of the big radio stations and, yeah. and Sky News, I suppose, is watched by the right people, as they say. Oh, the right seven people. Ooh, <laughs> right. This is hard. Now, you won a Walkley Award when you were 20 and then you spent the next 20 years not winning Walkleys. Is it time to accept that was a fluke? It's probably time for me to admit that that was a fluke. I think a lot of people just learnt for the first time that you got a Walkley ever, which is, that's the big bombshell in this interview. You got one? No. Don't want one. Fair enough. All right, thanks for chatting. Hard! Mate, it was an absolute pleasure. Don't try to be polite. I think you're a rising star. Oh, I'm already a star. <laughs>